these sessions are recorded. I just started the recording. So if you have a problem with that, <laughs> you are welcome to leave, but we do record them for the benefit of people who may want to watch them at a later time, including yourself. Um, so for the benefit of the recording, once again, my name is Liz Parrish. I am a graduate student at Georgia Tech. And today is going to be really basic introductions to Grid World. Um, we're going to talk about what is Grid World, how to set it up, and uh, I'm going to introduce you to Grid World in a way that I would have introduced it to my course, and also talk about how to introduce it to students in your own courses. Um, you now, Devin told us a little bit about your, himself. Um, I'm going to skip ahead. Um, oh. One thing, how familiar are you two with Illuminate? Uh, are you familiar with all the various tools? You can hit a smiley face or type in the box. Okay, great, fantastic. So I don't need to do that. Um, uh, so I was going to do a quick poll. We'll do it anyway. Why not? Um, And for some reason, the numbers did not come out. Um, I should change the, the polling should now have an ABCDE. Just run it down. Uh, just real quick so I know your exposure to Grid World. Okay, Crystal's very familiar with it. Okay, and Devin seen it wrong. Oh, E. All right, Devin. No, so you're both very familiar then with Grid World. Is that right? Smiley faces. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how much we you both need to be here. Like I said, I'm keeping today was really basic to make sure that anybody who wanted to be attending was set up. So um, you guys don't need to know what is Grid World. You know what it is already. Um, how much do you guys? talk to your students about why a case study is provided. This is something we talk about as a way of introducing the case study to students. Um, and these are some of the justifications that AP um, has provided, right, that you have a large project to read and modify as an example of good design, and of course as a source of questions. Um, either of you have experiences on sharing that with your students? Do you do that at all? Um, has that seemed to help you at all in introducing the case study? Um, if, if I can just kind of use my microphone here as I'm multitasking, I truly am multitasking while I'm watching this. Um, most of the time what I do is, um, because I have mostly male students, unfortunately, in my class, they don't really talk about the how it supports female students. <laughs> That's not applicable to them. They don't really care. But I do talk about how it does make up about a fourth of the AP exam. Um, I do talk about how it gives them the opportunity to work with large programs, how it fits in with real world situations where if they were in a job or in a career, a lot of what they would be doing, my husband, for example, is a software engineer, a lot of what he does every day is modifying bits and pieces of code or writing methods and classes to fit into existing code. So you're not going to realistically sit down and write lots and lots and lots of code independently. And so being able to work with somebody else's stuff and um, modify it and change it and understand it is extremely important. So that's the part that I emphasize in my classroom. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and does that seem to help them? Because I know one of the things I've discussed with various teachers over the time is students struggle with the case study and understanding the purpose. So do you think that helps you in discussing that purpose with them and helping them accept the case study a little more easily? Well, I'd like to think so, but um, some of them are, you know, they, they have their own vision of what what it's going to be like, and not necessarily are buying that, but they will. I mean, once they experience what it's like in college, what it's like in a career field, then they'll look back and hopefully be grateful that they've done it. But no, some of them don't buy it. Some of them think that it's just me finding something or AP finding something for them to do. Uh, 
it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. So, um, it was something I did with my students and talked to them, and I found the same thing, that some of them said, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Um, but I do think it is good to talk to them about why it's there and that it's not just because the AP gave them something to do. Um, that is one purpose, right? Um, but I think for some of them, at least it helps. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, it is the case that often we don't have a lot of female students in our courses. But um, obviously, both of you have installed the grid world, so we don't really need to keep on this slide very long, but I'm leaving. Um, I'm going to walk through each slide so that if anyone wants to go through the recording, they can look at some of these restrictions. Um, that's how to Java. Um, which IDEs do the two of you use? Just out of curiosity. Okay. Um, yeah, we use Bluejay uh, when I taught. Um, I worked with the Kennesaw program and they used Bluejay for everything. So uh, I liked that um, you could uh, create, and I keep forgetting, I always do that when I teach that you guys can't see my mouse unless I use the little pointer. Um, I like that you could create instances of the class and they can run the functions without having a main. That's something I like about Bluejay. I really don't like this strange importing system. Um, that's not one of my favorite things. And of course, it doesn't have a debugger. Um, Crystal, you said you've used, you used Dr. Java, which I think is also a great one, uh, especially with the interactive things here. Devin, I applaud you for using Eclipse. Um, it's heftier than I normally do. Um, do your students struggle with the Eclipse at all? That's great. Um, I could not get Eclipse installed, which is why I don't have a nice little screenshot right here because Eclipse was not being nice to my computer. And you use it yourself. I did use, um, when I first inter was introduced with Java, um, use Eclipse. And I, I did like the debugging aspect of Eclipse, but I found that was not something when I taught I often had very much time for. Um, Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, that's how to obtain grid world if you need it. Um, adding the jar file. Um, I'm just going to real quick put these two up. Um, I tried to put little pointers on those so that if anyone needed to install the jar file, they knew how to do that. Um, out of curiosity, is that something you guys do yourself or you have your students do? Yeah. Okay, and first project, of course, we run it and we see what happens. And it's great. <sighs> so, um, I'm going to, at this point, just skip ahead since I know you all have done the manual questions to um, talk about introducing things to uh, how you introduce students to Grid World. Um, and these ideas I pulled from several sources. So one, of course, is explaining the whys of a case study, uh, which I briefly talked about since that's what we started with today. Um, do either of you do this? This was one of the suggestions I read, was integrating bugs into classroom decor and the classroom scene and making bugs uh, a part of everything. Is that something either of you have done? Or Crystal, you want to? Liz, I, I don't feel like you need to dumb it down on my account. I'm really just trying to um, see what see what's there. I'm helping out with the reboot. I'm mentoring um, a teacher and 
uh, their IT professional, so I want to make sure that I have good resources to point them to. So um, feel free to do it as if we don't know so that we can, you know, pick up on whatever tips you have and can pass things along. That's fine. Okay, we'll we'll go back and go through the grid rule questions here in a minute. So um, if if that's okay with both of you, since you feel like that's great, then um, one of the ideas with having it running on the first day of class, so that when students come in, for instance, um, and I'll go ahead and run it uh, here if I can find and move the tools on me. Just talk sharing. Um, I did not try this. This is my fault for not trying this before I can you guys see this? I don't know if you can see this or not. Okay. 